Hello guys. Hello guys. And today, I'm going to cook some out of date food. Now, I have some out of date um, butternut and pak choy stir fry mix. Which, and the date on this is the 6th of April. It's currently the 11th of April. And recently, to prove this, in news events there have been stories about um, Rishi Sunak and his wife's tax affairs. He has personally referred himself to the Standards Committee to make sure to prove that he hasn't done anything wrong. Um, one of our politicians who was murdered, um, the um, accused, has been found guilty of his murder today. Um, I don't know what else there really is um, that's been going on. Apparently Russia's been warning Sweden and Finland not to join NATO or something along those lines. I haven't, but I just looked at the headline briefly. And so that is, has been up for about, out of date for about five days, but it looks as if it's edible if I cook it, which I'm going to do. The next thing I'm going to have with that is some dark soy sauce. And this is what's really interesting about this. This soy sauce has an expiry date of November 2010. That's right, 2010. So this soy sauce is over 11 years out of date. So I'm going to try and cook this on its own with some 11 year out of date soy sauce okay now it seems to be okay and you know i'm not sure if it will taste okay but okay. <coughs> not what i wanted to do at all okay There you go. It seems to be okay, and that's 11 years out of date. So you've just seen me try some 11 year out of date soy sauce, okay? And I thought it's gone. It, I, I want to squirt a little bit out, but unfortunately it's gone on my jumper, which isn't pleasing me, so I'm going to have to... I mean, I know I've got to wash it anyway, obviously, but I didn't want... <laughs> to do that but never mind I'm sure it will come out later if not well I'll just have to get another jumper sometime anyway so anyway if anything can go wrong when filming it will normally I wouldn't have tried this but I thought I'll just try to show you just to show you what I was going to try some genuine but I didn't I thought it would come out a little drop at a time I'm going to try it again I'm going to do it very carefully. And there's some on my hand. Oh, so it doesn't go everywhere this time, just to prove it. Look. Eleven twenty ten. So that is eleven year out of date soy sauce, okay? And I'm gonna have that with this, okay? Now it's just stir fry, so I'm just gonna empty the contents of this pour some of this in, fry some of this, then pour it into a frying pan. Now, what's actually interesting is they do actually tell you how to do it on here, but it's rather weird how they do it, you see, because on the back, on the front, it's just got straight to wok, and it just, and on the back, there's all these stickers. Now, there's actually five stickers. There looks like there's four, you might look if you look carefully, it looks like there's four stickers. There's actually five. First of all, Three of the stickers are price stickers. So if I just take, right, so you can see there's, you look very carefully, there are three price stickers as they've discounted it. I'll just show you a minute where the stickers are. You'll see that's one sticker. 
Then there's this other sticker here. That's the second sticker coming off. Take my word for it, you can just see if I scrape it enough. Wait a minute. Was it me? I thought there were three stickers on there. It looked like there were three stickers on there. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, it really did look like there were three stickers. No, I'm wrong. There's, I thought there were three stickers. There's two. There's two, yeah, there's, there's two price stickers. I thought there were three. There's two. Okay. But what's really strange is this. Now, and this is the interesting part. Okay. Now, here you'll notice it's got the normal thing, the normal sticker on, right? About that tells you all about the product. If you hadn't, if it hadn't been reduced, you wouldn't have sold these stickers. Okay. But it tells you to. Um, but it's. And here it says peel for cooking instructions and nutrition. So if I show you that there, they might think, what am I? What are they talking about? Well, you see this sticker, this actually comes off. And if you peel this off, all of this, you get something else here. So you have to actually take the sticker off, one sticker off another sticker just to find out how to cook the thing and then turn it over I mean I, I could have guessed anyway to be honest but um for those people want to do absolutely exactly it tells you how long to cook it in the wok for um, it tells you to for two minutes by frying it um, then add no heat it dry oh no you just heat it the wok first then you add it, it, it and you add some oil and then what's in here and then fry it for four minutes and serve immediately okay but I'm going to add soy sauce to it okay they haven't told you to but I'm going to add soy sauce to it okay because I think it will be nice with the soy sauce even if it is 11 years out of date but I just wanted to show you me having some 11 year out of date soy sauce okay right so thanks for watching Bye for now, and then I'm going to, um, as I said, I'm going to, um, cook it now, okay? I think there might have been some, um, problems with recording. I think my computer's stuck for a while, but you'll just have to put up with that, guys, okay? If it didn't record me moving my hand properly or something, or my head properly, okay? So thanks for watching, and I'm going to open this in a moment. I'm going to show you this. Actually, I might as well open it for you. So you can see, now I'll lift it out, and now you can see in here it's got, um, what looks like some cabbage, um, some chopped onions, more chopped onion, um, what looks like bits of carrot, it looks like a piece of carrot there, and... It's Katie's cabbage, carrot, onion, butternut squash, and if there's anything else after that, I can't read it because, um, oh, wait a minute, yes, I can, what am I doing? Because of all the stickers on it, but let's see, yeah, I can't easily see butternut squash. I can't easily see it, but it seems that that's what I would expect anyway. So, now they've got the bits of bits of, these are the bits of butternut squash. These are the bits of carrot, cabbage, and um, go to bits of onion. Okay. Now, because this was about to expire. I got the whole thing for 48p. But normally it would have been £1.50. Okay? So, right guys, I'm going to cook it now and you'll see me do it, okay? And then you'll see me eat it, okay? So, don't go away. Right, I've just switched the... Um the hot plate on. I just put this in really to show you okay so this is the plate and that's a knife and fork okay 
I'll use that later, okay? Now, as I'm just going to show you again, this is the soy sauce and it is dated November 2010. And as I stated earlier, um, um, you know, recently Rishi Sunak has had problems um, with his wife's money. He's done nothing wrong, but people just think it wasn't moral, even if it was legal. Here I've got the butternut squash. I, mean, I can't find the things. That's the butternut squash, and here's the... Um, on the back it's got the... I've already peeled off the um, stickers, so I'm just going to put that into the... Oh no, I'll put the oil in first, I just realised. So I'm heating at the moment, I'm heating the pan up. I'll put something... Uh, well, that doesn't matter. Normally I wouldn't... Nothing with this. Now, I'm going to put some oil in. I'm going to do it my way, to be honest. It's, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Okay. I'm just wishing the oil around. There's some water in as well that will evaporate. Normally I would wait a couple of minutes, but essentially while I'm doing that, I'm going to get the spatula. So I know they told me to wait for two minutes, but because I'm filming it, I really genuinely can't be bothered. So I'm going to pour it all in right now. So I think that might be about a couple of minutes anyway, so... Um, and this ceramic hot plate heats up quite quickly. And it's also a ceramic... Um, I believe it's some sort of ceramic frying pan which heats up quite quickly as well. So now there's all the um, stuff in it. I mean, this is the pack Choi, so that's the pack Choi... This is the sort of pack choice stuff. Put the whole con all the contents in so you can get there's probably more there than I can even eat, but never mind, I can put it do it so I can always put some in a container for tomorrow. And I'm just gonna squish that round a bit. As I said, the rest of it, it doesn't tell you to use any, um, but I'm going to, so I'm going to put some soy sauce in the moment. I'm just going to quickly get a spatula a moment. I've got to bring a spatula, but I'm not, you shouldn't use this because it will actually damage the frying pan if you go near the bottom but it'll do if I just on top a minute that's just to and some of it while I get a spatula okay so there you go effectively it's just swishing this around now for a few minutes I probably won't even bother showing you because I'll just get the spatula and then show you me doing it with a spatula and then I'll just put it straight onto a plate because it's too boring to watch me just stirring Obviously later I'll put the soy sauce in, so at the moment I'm just doing it their way and then I'll put the soy sauce in. Right, now I've got the spatula, so you can see me.
doing it with a spatula. The reason I've um, got the soy sauce is because often you use soy sauce for stir fries, okay? And often you'd have other things with this, but this is for one that's going to be a vegetarian stir fry, but sometimes in the past I've had meat and with it and other sauces and things, okay? Now, I'm not timing this, but I think you meant to do it for about four minutes or so after you've put things done, some initial preparations. And I said I'm just doing it my way um, you don't if you're used to doing this kind of thing I've done this, this sort of things in the past you don't need to bother too much about the exact number of minutes and things like that you just have a feel for when it's ready it's usually about five or ten minutes so what I'm going to do now I said is I've got the soy sauce which you saw earlier just to prove I'm not cheating, I'm going to again. And now I'm going to shake. Some of the soy sauce into a pan, and I'm going to stir it. Okay. So that now all the vegetables are stirred into the soy sauce. Okay. As I said that's not part of what Tesco's told you, but I've often done something like this in the past and usually people use soy sauce and similar things when they're cooking stir fry, okay? And that's um, some of the cabbage. It's not dark because of all the soy sauce. It's, it was dark anyway. So. I think that'll probably do, actually. To be absolutely totally honest. I'll just try a bit. I'll just try some of the cabbage just to see if it's been done. It's okay, I think I might put even more soy sauce in because to be honest, I want to use it up anyway, so. No. Got some more soy sauce put in and then more stirring. I 
and the brown you see at the bottom of the frying pan is all the soy sauce, okay? Apparently I've been doing it for about five minutes now. So this video is about five minutes. Just this clip of me stirring it is about five minutes. So I think I should hopefully be ready. Now normally it's supposed to warm the pot, truthfully. But um, because I'm filming it, it's too much hassle to be honest. So... See, I'm just going to put my hand over the plate and plate over here a minute. I shouldn't do this, you have to be very careful because otherwise you might burn your hand or something. But you know, normally I wouldn't do it like this. But um, that's what I can do is put the frying pan on. I'll get it on the plate, you shouldn't normally do this, but it might warm it. I do have a proper plate warmer, but I'm not using it at the moment. Okay, well, I have to do, I think. So now, I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off, so I have turned off the hot plate, move it back, move the plate forward, here. This is where it's going to be a disaster for no reason. I may not eat all of it, I may leave some of it behind, but now I'm going to put it onto the plate. I'm going to see how much of it I can actually put onto the plate. Now, somewhere I can do have some sort of chopsticks, but I can't be bothered for once because I don't feel like things going everywhere for once. So for once, I'm just going to eat it like this with a knife and fork, okay? Right. Okay, right. So now I'm going to try and eat it, okay? Right. Right, and now I'll put my hands underneath the plate, and the plate's quite warm now, so, as I said, so, um, time to try, use my knee to hold the plate, and now I'm going to eat it, okay? Now, loosely, because things like this are, are out of date, usually a bit stiffer so not quite as soft and juicy usually which is one another reason why I added the soy sauce you see so so if any of it's a bit too stiff then It will make it more juicy, you see. Not a bit of crunchy, 
probably a bit too crunchy because, um, you know, it's about, I think, if I get, I think about five days out of date, I forget the exact, um, I think it was on just now, but it is out of date as I showed you earlier, so. To be honest, it's probably my fault, but I put a lot of soy sauce on, so I'm tasting mostly soy sauce, truthfully. But we're 11 years out of date soy sauce. It tastes perfectly okay. It doesn't smell absolutely horrible. Or anything like that, so... I do have only 11 year out of date soy sauce. Um, I can't officially tell you to have a go, but I'm not a qualified health expert, but I don't personally see why you shouldn't be able to. And this is the sort of thing that normal people consider Chinese food uh, over here, you know, something similar to this, you know. We do have Chinese takeaways which usually have sweet and sour sauce and things like that on them. I've, um, you know, I am actually quite hungry, so I think I'm probably pushed it up anyway. I thought well, I think I'll probably have a lot and then have a lot less tomorrow or something. Now it's cooked, as I said. I think I could be wrong, but I think that's a pick with butchering it squash, but I could be wrong. And I think I've had a lot of the carrots, so. And I found a bit, I think. I think that's a bit of carrots, which I've dyed, which has changed colour because of. Soy sauce. If I try and scrape some of the sauce off, you can see it's a bit orangey. Slightly, that's because of the soy sauce that's on it. Um, I think there's a fly or something. Not really much more I can say about all this food food. Um, it is what it is. Um,
It was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, I think it. I think if you watch any more, you'll be bored, and I'll be bored, so. Well, I'm just going to say about it. Well, I got it from Tesco. You need to keep on buy this kind of thing. If they're lazy. Um, and cannot be bothered to cut it all themselves or they just want one portion of everything and they don't want to have to buy lots of different things. Use it. Use them and then throw them out because they only want a small portion of things because I bought pak choy very rarely, which is the cabbage, essentially, and and that um, usually they t you had to buy I think two of them in a pack or something like that. I could be wrong. It was quite I've been several months, and maybe even years ago since I bought any. Um, I did use to get some sometimes when I did, you know, my own proper cooking, you know. Looks like. Right. Nearly had it all now. Generally, I've had just two types of um, soy sauce, what they call dark soy sauce and light soy sauce. This has to be the dark one. Um, in the past, I just used whatever the recipe books told me to use, and I did, in fact, buy both. But I'm trying to use this up because it's very old, and because it, you know, so old, I haven't cooked all this stuff for a long time. So, you know, not 10 years probably, but. Now it's taken a while to use it up, whereas in the past sometimes I would get food a lot quicker. There you go. That's it. I, I know you shouldn't really do this, but and it's uncouth and everything, but I just do not like to weigh food, so... This is me using a knife to scoop up the excess. And also it's easier to wash afterwards, to be honest. So, in the end, I didn't think I would cheating it all but I did I've eaten everything in the package okay and the soy sauce so there you go guys okay um, I've got the packet out there so I can't remember the exact name now but it's basically um, essentially the pak choy and butternut squash um, stir fry I forget the exact name but it's something like that because I've left the packet out there okay so I don't think they put it on here did they Stir fry vegetables with butternut squash, I think. I just said this is where they show you the cooking instructions. I'll see if I actually did do what they said. They said heat dry wok for two minutes. Okay, I'll probably do a bit less than that. Add 15 millilitres or tablespoon of oil and add the vegetables directly from the trap. In other words, I mean. From you know the carton. Stir fry for four minutes, stirring continuously. Oh, from the tray, not the trap, the tray. What am I talking about? So I'm not thinking straight. They've they've cut off the thing. So they used to sometimes they, they had these special things where they had these special containers sometimes where they had a, where they had basically a tray within a tray. 
and they used to have these fancy terms for like a tray and a tray so it meant to sometimes put one part of a tray in and another part of a tray another part later which had a tray on top of a tray so sorry i'm talking rubbish directly from the tray sorry what am i talking about um stir fry for four minutes stirring continuously serve immediately do not reheat once cooled so i cooked it a bit over four minutes but that's good enough for me mm, it doesn't matter with stir fry you know especially as i put the soy sauce in because i put the soy sauce in i want to do a bit longer to heat up the soy sauce okay so there you go guys um thanks for watching bye